is understanding what the people have done. They did it with Unlock Michigan and they did it here. Hundreds of thousands of volunteers that stood up and have risen up for the very first time. I want to tell you something else. They're not identified by Republicans or Democrats. They are Americans. Yeah. They are people who recognize that what happened over the last couple years is not tolerable or acceptable. Yeah. Right. That had to do with Unlock Michigan, which was used as the 1945 law that locked us down, that controlled parents and children and businesses and destroyed them and the like. And now with this particular issue, what are we doing? We're trying to restore none other than election integrity to the state of Michigan. It is vital across this country, and as I've mentioned three different times here, over 80% and 80% is the number all across this country, not Republican or Democrat. Everyone believes that photo ID is necessary for our elections. Yeah. I'm going to correct one thing that was said. We are a republic, not a democracy. The people that we elect are indeed a representative of us. And what has happened is the ruling class and our governor has become a tyrannical leader over its people. And what you're going to see is they want to put us in a box as if we are some radical right. And honestly, we are not right at all. We are American citizens, left and right, and many of which have never participated in the election process before, many of which haven't voted in the last number of elections, but realize something drastically went wrong over the last couple of years. They are parents. They are blue collar workers. They are bowling alley owners. They're gym owners. They're people that were locked down and shut down. They are parents who don't understand why their kids didn't have in-person learning. And they are people that realize something went wrong in the 2020 election, not to the level of which we want to talk about. The point is there was indeed fraud in the election. Yeah. There are too many holes in our election yeah. process. Right. And we have to, in order for us to preserve our republic, I'm asking all of you that are watching, as you go to the polls this next week, not to look at the person, regardless if you pick the Democratic ballot or the Republican ballot. I don't care which one you pick, it is indeed a representative republic. I ask you to look at the people on that ballot and don't pick them based on their name or a talking point or a soundbite. Find out what they really stand for. That's our problem. We want to blame people when they get in this building because they aren't what we think they were, but they never were. It doesn't have to do if they're Republican or Democrat. It is about their moral convictions and whether they actually will represent the people in which elected. But once you're elected official, you represent all the people. You don't represent a party. You represent all of them. But it is important that our constitutional rights are always the first thing they look at. It is the oath they take when they go here and serve us. The people around Michigan are changing. And again, you want to call us grassroots because you think you can put us in a box. But you need to understand, it isn't a grassroots of old. These are people who, for the very first time, are standing up and waking up. You know, freedom lies in educating people. Tyranny lies in keeping people ignorant. Yeah. And we have been ignorant for too long. That's right. That's right. It is time for us to stand up and learn what it is. Learn about our founding fathers and what our Constitution guarantees to us. And I, as I look at these 514,000 signatures, understand this didn't just happen. It was the people of Michigan that made it happen, and they are not Republican or Democrats. They are Americans. That's right. That's right. Awesome. Awesome.